getting set up, ready to uh, have a little session this evening over the next couple of hours. I've got about an hour and a half, two hours to high water. As you can see, that sun's just setting, so I'm going to fish a couple hours into darkness. Probably an hour and a half of the, uh, the ebb. I've got my two rods here, just put two rigs on. Very simple tonight, standard sliding ledger rigs. So just a normal running ledger with a sliding lead there. Um, and then down to panel setup. On this one I've got two Chinu hooks and the other I'm using a, an Aberdeen. There's the main hook and a Chinu is the, the panel. Now the rods I'm using tonight, a little heavy, but these are the ones I had in my car. Um, and that I use most of the time to be honest. I'm using a cheap and cheerful Shakespeare Sigma Supra, four to eight ounce. And on there I've got 6,000 Pen Fierce um, Live Liner. Now these reels are absolutely great. Um, I've got 28 pound mono on there. And on the other rod, I'm using a Daiwa Shorecast. This is a surf reel, so it's got a longer spool, loads of line on there. That's got 22 pound mono. And that rod there is a Tronics Pro Gorilla Surf Rod. 13 and a half foot and also four to eight I think or three to seven now I've been out already today and dug some bait over the low water so the bait I've got tonight if I can get this open with one hand is fresh gaper clam and razor all taken out of the shell so ready just to be threaded onto the hooks and thrown out So that there is what the baits are going to look like tonight. No bait elastic, just fresh bait threaded on there. Cocktail of gate clam and razor clam. Now what couldn't was this at? So that's both rods out, two baits out there, and we're fishing. Now I've got the rods nice and high off the uh, off the deck tonight, just to keep the line out of the water. Not that it's rough or there's any wave or anything, but you can probably see there's a lot of weed on the beach. We've had some seriously rough weather lately, just like the rest of the UK. You see the weed runs all the way down the beach. I came and scraped it out the other day and uh, I honestly thought it would be unfishable for weeks but this is the third day into some more settled weather now and it's cleared up a little so I'm hoping it's not going to be too bad also once it actually gets to high tide I'm hoping it doesn't wash about too too much could be a bit of a pain bringing any fish in or the rigs in but it should stay clear out there but we're going to keep an eye on these rod tips Hopefully we get some pounding bites and uh, see a fish. So we have two baits in the water. Now, as far as tonight goes, what I'm after really is either a bass or possibly a gilthead breed. Now, we're in the middle of January. Um, as everyone knows, anyone else in the UK and the same here in the Channel Islands, bait fishing from the shore in the winter can be pretty tough. Um, this is the first time I've been out bait fishing in a very long time and I thought I'd just give it a go tonight. Done a lot of lure fishing lately for bass and I just thought I'd switch it up. We've got some nice big tides at the moment so uh, took advantage of the low tide this afternoon. It was absolutely lovely, went out there onto the beach, dug some bait in the sunshine. That's still really really nice weather, lovely and settled however it is very cold and um, you can definitely feel it on your hands. So yeah, I thought I'd come down tonight and just try over high water. Um, 
and see how we go really it could be very difficult this could very easily turn into a blank <clears throat> um, and if it does then hey that's how it goes sometimes but i am hoping we may see a fish so uh yeah i'm gonna set myself up and uh keep an eye on the rod tips and obviously if anything happens i'll put the camera on hopefully something does happen So that light's faded really, really quickly. I'm just baiting up again because first cast, I happened to look up to the line. And my line had dragged right across the beach and I thought, what the hell's going on there? Can't be the lead because using 170 grams, so five and a half ounce should be more than enough to hold the bottom. So as I started reeling in, there was a bit of weight there and obviously it wasn't a fish so don't get excited but I ended up reeling in this thing little jawstring bag there so it's obviously caught on the line and just taking my my bait the whole way across the beach so let's get this second rod out and uh, hopefully be a bit more successful well it is absolutely freezing and so far it's been absolutely dead I've had a couple of really really small taps on one rod but that is literally it so what I'm doing now is making a bigger bait I'm gonna bring one of these rods in chuck this on and fire it out there really big juicy bait so if there's any fish out there pretty sure they're not going to turn down this well my god this fella felt about twice the size but we finally have our first fish I'll get you a better show in a second but little scaldy bass there beautiful so here we go our first fish of the evening hooked on the little penal chinny hook there So I don't know what's happening with my other camera, it's decided to play up, but little bass there, covered in sand. But there we go, that's great stuff that, taking on the gaper clam and razor, little scaldy bass. Let's get them back in the water, hopefully catch some more. First fish down, um, little scaldy bass. Now it's taken quite a while. Now I don't know what's going on with this camera, it keeps turning itself off. Um, so I might have to just film a lot on my chest cam. Now I've got no idea what's going on with my other camera. It keeps turning itself off, saying dead battery, but the battery's on 80%. So what I was trying to say is uh, it's taken a long time said earlier that I had just one or two small hits earlier on which I was 90% sure were bites it could have well been weed I really can't tell it's hard to tell when there's this much weed in the water but um, yeah that's all that's really happened and then all of a sudden just had a few taps on one rod and then it bent over and that fish um, just swam just went parallel to the ties and I actually thought it could be a sort of three pounder or something like that but just a little schoolie and he's gone back safe and sound so let's get this rod cast back out and uh, we'll see if hopefully we can find another I've had no 
no bites on the other rod that one's fishing a lot further away to where I'm casting this one just like to cover a good bit of ground you never know where the fish are gonna be but it ain't half cold now I can tell you that once that Sun goes down temperature drops rapid so there we go another bait on let's get it out there so I'm just trying to warm this GoPro up in my hands now one thing I've noticed with these GoPro 10s when they're out in the cold if I turn this on I can leave it on it's absolutely fine however if I press record it will record for about 10 seconds and then die and it says battery low and so if I turn it on now you should be able to see on it 66% battery so it's not the battery what I think it is is it's the cold it's being out in the cold it really doesn't like it so just try to warm it up in my hands a little bit I'm going to put it back on the tripod and hopefully have a bit more success So if we give this another go, hopefully the camera's gonna last. Now I've got two more baits out there, hoping to see another fish. Now I'm happy that I haven't blanked, which is good. But uh, yeah, it's definitely been quiet. And it's like I said, I expected it completely tonight. It is the middle of January. Winter fishing is very difficult. Sometimes you're fishing through the blanks just for that one decent fish. Um, but tonight, only a little schoolie so far so I'm not actually out for too too long tonight but I'm gonna stay for probably another hour so um, yeah I'm gonna keep on fishing through hopefully that weed doesn't cause too much of an issue as we're approaching high water it's relatively close in so when my baits are out there these, the lines pretty clear it's just when you're bringing them in you tend to pick up a bit of weed now I have noticed there's someone out on the rocks over there as well they're probably chucking a lure um, so yeah the plan is just keep an eye on the rods for the next hour or so I'll keep rebaiting when I need to um, and let's just hope we can we can see another fish tonight now that looked like a bite but that could have been weed leave that for now see if it comes back oh it's off bugger bugger yeah there's nothing there Slack line here. Can we get another one? That time the rod just went bang over once. And I didn't notice until I shone my head torch up onto uh, the rod tip. I can see the, my line, big bow in the line. So that's a fish hit me, swam towards me, but it's just not hooked up properly. Well, nothing else happening so far. I had that one other hit where that fish swam towards me. Now what I think happened there is obviously you get slack line bites a lot of the time when you're bass fishing. So that's a fish picking up your bait and swimming towards you. And then obviously as a slack line, it's probably felt the hook, spat the hook or, and spat the bait out. So anyway, I'm gonna give it another 20 minutes or so and then uh, I'm gonna head off for the day. So that little bass wasn't the only catch tonight. I'm now the proud owner. I have a little drawstring bag, but I'm sure that'll actually come in handy, so can't complain. <laughs> 